First, let's create a new Unreal Engine project. Choose the project location, project name, and check retracing. After you're done, click on create. Go down here to content drawer, click on dock in layout, and create a new folder, call it map, because I want to create a new level. Right click, level, also map, you can call it whatever you want. I'm gonna double click and I'm gonna save. Let's create our landscape. So go to selection mode, landscape, scroll down and hit create. Go back to selection, go here, lights, direction light, also lights, skylight, and then go to visual effects, sky atmosphere, visual effects, exponential height fog, go to direction light here, choose movable, go to exponential height fog, scroll down and check volumetric fog, sky atmosphere, keep it the same and skylight, movable and check real time capture. Now let's add some clouds, go to settings here and go to plugins, search for volumetric, volumetrics, check this, restart. We want to launch the Unreal Engine to our level that we created. So we don't have to every time go to our file and just click on that. So go to your settings, project settings, go to um, maps and choose here your level, which we called map and also here map. Now, whenever Unreal Engine crashes or you want to restart the engine, you just directly tele teleport to this map. Make sure in settings here, you have show engine content checked and go to engine here, plugins, and scroll down until you find volumetrics content. Open this and here you can see sky and also materials. You can go to here again and visual effects and add volumetric cloud. Now you can see that we have clouds, but I want to change these clouds. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to scroll down to cloud material and I'm going to click this one here, drag and drop. Now you can see we have different clouds. If you want to add light shafts for the sun, you can just click on direction light, scroll down, light shafts, check these two, and go here again, control L. You can see we have cool light shafts, but I actually don't want to use light shafts in this tutorial. I want to go up in the direction light here, and I want to increase the source angle. So when I control L, I have this cool sunset behind the clouds. Here in content, I'm going to add some foliage by going to add quixel content and local. I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to add this one. I already downloaded this in the highest quality. So all I have to do is just click add. When I minimize this, you can see that I have my plant ready. Before we continue, hit save all and close your engine because I want you to drag and drop these assets to your project. So I'm going to go to my project and I'm going to go to content. I'm going to select all these control C and here control V. And then I will go back and open my project again. I will start adding my meshes and if you wish to use them, they are down in the description. So I'm going to right click, new folder, and I'm going to call this mesh. I'm going to go ahead and go here. We have cabin and Saturn. So I'm going to select these two, drag and drop. I'm going to hit import all. If I go here, we have cabin and we have Saturn. Let's add our cabin first. So I'm going to drag and drop. I'm going to go ahead and increase the light here. 
so I'm gonna click on cabin material and let's just get these here I have this emissive color here this yellow so I'm gonna remove this alt and click here hold one left click and hold M left click bring this here and this one to emissive color now if I change the value to 5 for example I can apply you can see that the light is higher maybe let's try 10 yeah something like this I want also to make the directional light less intensity so I'm gonna click on my directional light and I'm gonna change this value to 3 you can add your foliage now by going to selection mode here and if you don't have these here you can just go to content mega scan 3d plants and just drag and drop these and put them here so I'll select all these check and I will go down and density put this to 3 maybe somehow like this I can also increase and decrease the brush size and also the paint density so let's say I increase the brush size and start painting this is actually all I need so I'm gonna go here again and go to selection and I wanna put my camera so go to cinematic and add your camera go here perspective and then you can actually see that we are already doing something really cool maybe add more foliage because I want this angle to be a little bit far away and I want this area to have more uh, plant so I'll go ahead and click on this again I'm gonna decrease the size and I'm gonna start painting while I am in the cinematic mode I can hide my foliage if it's a lot to the computer now and I can go to here to my mesh Saturn and I want to drag and drop Saturn go far away and use it put it way way far all you have to do is uh, move it away scale it a little bit and you have this cool scene all of these assets the cabin and the Saturn are from sketchfab basically if you go here to sketchfab you can download anything you want but not everything for free so yeah so basically that's it but hopefully we will do bigger tutorials master tutorials thank you for watching and see you later